Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the second episode of Let's Play Minecraft. How's it going, Mr. Parrot? Good morning to you, and a whopping great hello to all 10,000 plus of you guys who subscribe to this channel here. Guys, we're already at 10,000 subscribers on this channel, which is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Thank you so much for that. The amount of support on the first episode in general was just out of this world, so thank you. Of course, if you do want to continue supporting this series, the best way to do so is simply to drop a like, but of course, if you want to go on further, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 10% off any of my Apex gaming PCs at the time of me making this video. Alright, so the first thing I want to do in today's episode is start going up some mountains and grabbing a bunch of resources. We can get coal, we can get iron, we can even get emeralds if we really wanted to, but honestly speaking, what I want to do first of all is this. <laughs> uh, um, okay, yeah, I had to do it. I'm sorry, I had to do it. It's just something you have to do. But getting right back to it, ladies and gents, we can go ahead and grab a whole bunch of this iron here. And what I'm hoping to do is be able to make myself a full set of iron armor and maybe even some iron tools if I have some iron left over because that will make me feel way better about going ahead and surviving in the 1.18 caves. Because, yeah, 1.18 caves, they're kind of nuts. They really, really are. I mean, just look at this cave entrance here, my dudes. It goes down a long old way, and there's a lot of dudes who want to try and kill me. Hey, look, a snowball. Hey, Mr. Zombie, do you want a snowball? Ha! Ah, oh, darn it, I missed. So let's go ahead and see just how much iron we can get from the surface level of the cave here. And then we'll head back to base, get things smelted up. And then hopefully we can prepare ourselves for a slightly larger caving trip. Maybe towards the end of today's episode. Who knows? Oh, hey, okay. Looks like the lush caves continues down on this side over here as well. Wow. That's crazy though, isn't it? There's plenty of emeralds about as well, which is interesting. There's a little bit more iron just over here. I should probably torch this place up, huh? There we are. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. Yeah, grabbing a little bit of coal as well, just so we can, you know, actually smelt up the iron. And then, yeah, we will be golden. Now, in terms of the emeralds we have found all across the place, I feel like what might be a better idea is if I either A, wait until I get silk touch so I can just pick up the ore by itself, or B, wait until I get fortune so I can at least have a chance of getting multiple emeralds from one ore. I think that might be a good way to go. What do you guys think? You want to go there? Do yeah, yeah, get out of here. Goodness me, this cave really does go down a long, long way. I wonder if it goes all the way down to diamond level. I mean, at the end of the day, we do indeed have an iron pickaxe. So if we do find some, we could always go ahead and just mine it up. And uh, yeah, you did just witness me eating zombie flesh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Needs must, ladies and gents. Needs must. I need to regen a bit of health. And, you know, make sure my food meter is tip top. But yeah, not really recommended eating zombie flesh. Not by any stretch. But uh, when it's the only food source you have, yeah, you just got to do what you got to do. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly zombie. Okay, building a giant bridge over a giant drop. Um, yeah, that's a pretty quick way to make me feel a little bit unnerved. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can grab this iron here. Uh, what have we got now? 33. All right, so we need 24 for a full set of armor. And then, well, just a bunch more to make ourselves a bunch of tools as well. So actually, I think we might just about be there. So yeah, I think it's time to quit while we're ahead, get ourselves back to base, and uh, see about smelting this stuff up. Oh, hey, I just killed a skeleton and it gave me a butt. Who just did that? I'm going to kill you. There you go. <laughs> you just got two shotted by an axe there, son. I axed you a question. <laughs> Do I have any food? I've still got melon slices. Okay, I mean, it's better than nothing. We really do need to get a proper food situation established, don't we, eh? All right, for now, though, check it out. I've actually smelted up all of the copper ingots that we got in the last episode, which is lovely. And basically, all we're going to do now is smelt up all of the iron. So, yeah, we get these sticks going on. 
one, and then the remaining two bits of coal will do the remaining 16 bits. I always find it a little bit wasteful to use a bit of coal on just one item. Well, as much as we just got ourselves a bow from that skeleton, uh, it basically has zero durability. I mean, the good news is, if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and make myself a bow. Is there really a reason for us not to make ourselves a fresh bow? Hmm... Yeah, seems like a good idea. Rudimentary ranged weaponry. Always a good thing. I just realized I haven't addressed the elephant in the room. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I kind of made the storage area since the last episode. I figured I'd go ahead and get a little bit of off-camera work done. Because let's be honest, ladies and gents, going ahead and watching someone organize the contents of their chests is not really the most interesting thing to watch. But uh, if you guys are interested in seeing how I've organized various bits and bobs, then here you go. These two chests are actually blank, so we can have ourselves, I don't know, maybe a nether-related stuffs one, ocean monument, or end-related stuffs, and then, yeah, obviously, valuables. So, yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of stuff going on here, and it looks kind of decent, because we've got a little waterfall, we've got a little flower pot, we've got a little creeper behind the window here. Yeah, you better run away. All right, iron is done. The time has come to make ourselves a set of armor. Oh, yeah, I can feel myself getting more and more powerful. Look at me now. <laughs> I look fantastic. All right, so now we've got nine iron ingots. We can make ourselves an axe. We can make ourselves a shovel, maybe a sword, and finally a replacement iron pick just in case. There we are. Dudes, I am feeling so much better now. <laughs> we should be able to start exploring some caves with a little bit more confidence, I would say. And if we're going to go for a caving trip, we might as well go ahead and really stock up on torches. We've got just under two stacks of the darn things here, which is great. Uh, but before we do anything, I really do feel like what would be a good idea is if we were to go ahead and make ourselves a rudimentary crop area. And I was kind of thinking of having that double up as sort of the entrance to our house here. I was thinking of making like a nice broken up cobble wall sort of coming out of the house here and giving us a good amount of space outside which is A, safe, and B, an area in which we can grow crops. So if we're going for cobblestone, we need to go ahead of course and find ourselves a bunch of cobblestone and there appears to be a bit of a cave entrance over here. Uh, so let's see what exactly is... Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, well, I say a bit of a cave entrance. Uh, that's, that's a little bit more substantial than just a bit of a cave entrance, isn't it? Wow. That is enormous, isn't it? <laughs> hey, look at that. There's even more melons, though. More food. Thanks, Minecraft. I appreciate you generating all of these beautiful melons for your boy here. Look at this as well. The cave entrance even seems to go in this direction. You know, we're sort of at the surface level here. I mean, a little bit lower than surface level. But anyways, there's still another cave entrance down there, as well as way over in that direction. Like, seriously, wow. We have got a lot to explore around here, don't we, ladies and gents? <laughs> All right, well, we might as well make a bit of a start grabbing ourselves a whole bunch of cobbly stone here for our little cobblestone wall. Oh, look, it's a little pink axolotl all this time. <laughs> oh, you're adorable there, broski. Oh, do you know what, guys? We've got these spore blossoms up here, and I actually really want it. And I'm interested to see if we need shears in order to get it. Oh, you don't. You can just pop it off. I learned something new today. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. All right. So what that means is we can go ahead and place it somewhere around our base. And then we can have some nice little sort of green particles flying all over the place, right? Ah, so you're the fella who's preventing me from sleeping, huh? Oh, no. And now we've got a small zombie invasion going on. Up, oh, and he spawned a reinforcement. Ah, oh, well, what is all that about, huh? Huh? What are you guys trying to sell, huh? Because I'm not interested. Go on, get out of here. Right, there's another zombie around somewhere. Oh, hello there, buddy. Trying to get in through the windows, are we? I'm not having none of that nonsense. Can I sleep now, please? There we go. There we go, Mr. Parrot. All is safe for another night. Alrighty, so can we place this thing just about anywhere? Huh? Seems to have done the job. Well, alrighty then. Alright, and if I was to go ahead and uh, roam on outside... Yeah, we still got the particles flying all over the place. That's kind of cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wow, that really does give this area a little bit more character, doesn't it? This is cool. All right, so if I was to go ahead and uh, replant some trees down, maybe get some lanterns down, I feel like this could be like a really mystical looking area. Oh, dudes, I forgot I had vines. What I should have done was bring my shears down to the cave, picked up a whole bunch of the vines, and then we can make ourselves mossy cobblestone, and therefore, we would have a bunch more texture variation, wouldn't we? In fact, we don't need to go down to the caves to do that. We could just grab the vines from here. Yeah! Oh, and there's me thinking we would- Oh, boy. Oh, goodness me. Well, there goes the natural beauty of the terrain. Ugh. How unsightly. That's just horrible, isn't it? You know? I just don't like that. I don't like having creeper holes in my worlds. They just look really ugly. Like, literally, any creeper holes that I ever encounter, I have to go ahead and fill them in, uh, wherever it was. Oh, look, there it is. Okay. So, we just gotta try to make this place look nice and natural again. And then I'll be happy again. Yeah. All right, well, that looks pretty natural to me. I mean, as soon as it grasses over, that is. Uh, the tree looks a little bit, um strange, but I don't know. I feel like that's added a bit more character to that particular tree. <laughs> so then, 51 bits of mossy gobbly stone. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of slabs and a bunch of stairs and a bunch of other stuff and goodness knows what else. And yeah, we will get right on with getting this broken wall done. Well, if that's not a builder's hot bar, I don't know what is. Literally just full of building resources and something to pick it back up. Ah! All right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves a little something something going on here. Now, as you guys may or may not know with my wall designs, what I usually do is just something totally random, like really random, in fact. I usually make it two blocks tall as well so that no enemies and myself can't get in because we don't want that. We really, really don't. We want a nice safe area where no one can come in and start blowing things up. And then, obviously, if the wall starts to get a little bit too close to the edge of the terrain here, we can just sort of alter the terrain a little bit, you know? Make it look a little bit more natural looking. I think what we'll do, though, is we will also start on this side simultaneously, and then we shall see if we can get ourselves something that looks kind of nice, all right? All right, and I think we've just about got the shape figured out. A nice broken looking wall, but the thing is, at the moment, it looks a little bit sort of, I don't know, sort of flat. So on the inside here, what I feel like we could do is go ahead and maybe, I don't know, shore up the bottom here by adding a couple of uh, slabs and stairs rather like so. And that should add a little bit more shape to the wall. Then on the outside, what we could do is simply shore it up with, I don't know, maybe a bunch of leaves. That could be a nice way to go. So something like this so far is what I was on about. So we've got a nice cobble wall on the inside and then a bunch of leaves on the outside, which I think looks kind of nice. Now, one of the things some of you guys were saying in the last episode is, well, Python, you've got loads of different leaves around here. Why don't you go ahead and mix up the leaves that you're using? And to be honest, I think that's a marvelous idea. So how's about we go ahead and do exactly that? Because not only can we go ahead and spruce up the leaf wall that we're kind of making, but also we could introduce some different leaf types into the leaves that we have for the house here. I mean, adds a bit of texture variation, doesn't it? So check it out. I've gone ahead and started to carve out a little bit of a pathway leading up to the front door. And it looks kind of cool, I would say. We need to go ahead and do a little bit of a something something here. Those little dirt slithers can't be showing through there. Oh, no, no, no. Same for over here as well. We need to go ahead and replace these little grass and dirt slithers with cobblestone. Because we want to make this place look proper, don't we? There we are. Ain't no one getting in here now, ladies and gents. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. All right, so then we can add a couple more leaves in. And believe it or not, that's looking kind of nice, actually. Maybe we could add a little bit of a sort of pathway leading out to wherever it is it's going to be leading to. And then, yeah, we should be pretty good, guys. So we might be able to do just a little bit of trickery around here in that uh, if I was to go ahead and grab out... Ah, that's the only bucket I have. The bucket of axolotl. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be a little bit peculiar. But anyways, what I need to do is start adding in some hidden sources of water. 
Um, right. I think what I need to do real quick is make a temporary infinite water source, okay? Just so we have it nearby for decorative purposes. <laughs> and then we can pick up that axolotl again. Yes, there we are. Infinite water source. Now we can go ahead and put that back down. And then, yeah, we can go ahead and put a slab right back on top of that because that was meant to be a hidden water source. And then we could do a similar thing over here just so we don't, you know, see the water sources. So, yeah, should be a good time. So place that down. Maybe grab ourselves our a mossy cobble slab. And there we have it. All right, for now, though, let's go ahead and pick that axolotl back up. I promise we will find find you a proper home there, little axolotl buddy. All right, and now what we can do, of course, is go ahead and till all of this ground, and then it'll be ready for crops to be placed upon it. Yeah, love it. Love everything about it. However, with that all said and done... Ah, uh, yeah, the water is still kind of showing through, isn't it? But you know what? Once we go ahead and get all of the crops placed down, I feel like we won't be able to see it that much. So actually, I don't think it's that bad of a thing. My goodness, though, so many dirt slithers to try and cover up. It looks so bad. All right, well, there we are. I guess all we need to do now is actually get some crops planted. And to be honest, I'm literally just going to go for wheat seeds because that's all I need pretty much at this point. So we'll go ahead and transform our whole bunch of bones into bone meal. And then I'm hoping we'll be able to go ahead and start to populate this area. Before going ahead and using all of the bone meal, though, I thought it would be a nice idea to go ahead and bone meal the surroundings of our house here. Just to make the build seem a little bit more sort of at home, if you catch my drift. Sort of restore the beauty of this area. And I think we will be on to a winner. Ah. Well, now, I didn't even finish the leaf wall around here. Whoops. <laughs> How much of a numpty am I? Don't answer that. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's only really one more thing I want to try and do with this area, and that's try to dangle some lanterns sort of uh, coming on the inside here. And I feel like that will give this place a nice amount of atmosphere. And that's about as far as I could get with the, uh, the wheat there, unfortunately. Ah, well, at the very least, I can make myself a little bit of bread. And there we have it, guys. Back up to max hunger, which is wonderful. I mean, if I could get myself some potatoes or carrots, I would totally... Totally go ahead and plant them on this side, you know? I mean, potatoes, I think, would be preferable because you can cook them and they will give you a bunch of hunger back, right? Well, in order to get the lanterns, we need to go back down to the caves and grab ourselves a little bit more iron and then we should be good to go, my friendo. So, let's go back down to this enormous cave entrance and let's hope that we find some iron pretty quick-like. Oh, that would be lovely. Oh, dude, can you imagine? Can we ninja our way down into that water? Or maybe this water? Actually, this might be a safer way down, to be honest with you. <laughs> we go down like that, and then we're good. All right, so I'm sure if I head down enough here, we should be able to find ourselves some beautiful iron. Uh, in fact, I think I do see some. There's a little bit there. Just one bit? Really? One bit. Oh, no, there's another one there. Okay, okay. We've got little bits all over the place. All is well. Looks like there's plenty more iron around, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, the more of this stuff we get, the more lanterns we can make. Hey, another spore blossom as well. We're going to have particle overload, aren't we? <laughs> Hopefully not to the point of having lag, though, because that would kind of suck. Whoa! Look at how many axolotls there are here! And they've killed a bunch of uh, glow squid. It's like a whole family of them. Look at them. Oh, they're so adorable, though. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. I can't get over how adorable they are, dudes. And still plenty of iron all over the place. My goodness me. What on earth is that? That is quite possibly the biggest lava fall I've ever seen in Minecraft. Also, look, a mine shaft. Well, this is kind of cool, isn't it? But seriously, that is that is rather enormous, isn't it? I would not want to get caught in that. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, guys. Are we about to go for a little bit of spelunking? Huh? Are we about to do that? We're going to try and find ourselves some minecart chests. Oh, that would be so cool, though. I'd love to find me some minecart chests. As long as we don't come across any of those pesky cave spider spawners, I feel like we should be mostly okay. 
Mostly being the uh, operative word right there, ladies and gents. <laughs> well, at the very least, what we are finding is a whole bunch more ores, which is lovely. We definitely need them. We're still pretty early into the game, so finding any ores at this point is just a good thing. Hello! How you doing? Would you like to die there, sir? Go on, get off. This is my platform. Oh, hey, redstone. Oh, look at the amount of lapis around here. And deep slate. We're hitting deep slate level as well, guys. My goodness, there's so much stuff. Got more iron going on, which is beautiful. We pop on over this way. We got our first gold of the series. That's pretty cool. Wow, just one bit as well. Huh, all right. Uh, but there is another bit up here. Yeah, oh, and there's another one bit. What the devil? Are you sure you want to get on the wrong side of me, Mr. Skeleton? Because I tell you what, it is not going to work out in your favor. Not at all. However, there is one thing I did notice. If I pop on over here. Since when did tropical fish spawn in the lush caves? Usually you only find these guys in the warm oceans. You know, the, the ones that have the coral. This is cool. I honestly didn't know that tropical fish spawned in lush caves. Ha! I love it when I learn new things. Anyway, I think it's time to get back to the mine shaft and see if we can't find ourselves some treasures. I think I just want to go for one minecart chest. Oh, I can hear a slime. Well, that's interesting. Something I certainly don't hear very often. Oh, goodness me, here they are. Oh, this... Uh-oh. Oh. They just spawned like 50,000 of them on me. No, 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 no. Big fat no, no there, sir. Uh, right. Yes. Yes, this is, uh, uh-huh. This is very, very bad indeed. I hope you guys realize that. <laughs> if someone as much as breathes in my direction, I am dead. Oh, boy. Maybe there's a chest down here? Ah, huh, more lapis. Okay. My goodness me, I'm so glad that I am not playing in a hardcore world right now. <laughs> I just realized I need to be able to smelt all this stuff up. So maybe I should have been going ahead and grabbing all this coal here. Uh, well, I say all of this coal here. All two bits. Wow. Ah! No! No way! Hi. Hello. That might have been a bad idea. Oh, never mind. Huh. I thought he was about to spawn reinforcements on me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting no silverfish. Please don't do that again. Oh, there we are. Objective complete. What do you guys think, eh? Diamonds? Come on, diamonds. Uh, sharpness two. Eh, all right. I mean, I might as well put up my iron sword. A little bit of extra damage goes a long way. Got some melon seeds and we got some normal food. There we have it. I am not going to go ahead and go too much further with this. He says, as he is continuing to go further ahead with this. Oh, goodness me. Python, just stop. Python, stop. Why am I still mining? Python, go home. Well, I mean, if I could, you know, find my way home, then yeah, I would totally go home. Ah, there we have it. Back at the ravine. So that means we need to go this way. And then we should start to see an enormous area in which we can go up, which is good. Uh, might as well grab this gold while I'm here. Just one. Hey, that's a bit better. Uh-oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, it's just a regular one. I'm not having no cave spiders come up and scare me to death. It's not happening, all right? We're going home. I'm done here. There we have it, guys. I can see the sky. We're almost out of here. Come on. We're going to get ourselves home and all will be well. I grabbed absolutely nowhere near enough coal to smelt up anywhere near enough of our resources. <laughs> Whoopsie. Although then again, there's a little bit here. I mean, we are pretty much out of the caves now. We might as well grab it. I want to be able to smelt all my stuff up. It's as simple as that. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. No. I was just going to say we're just about out of here. But then there's one guy. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one guy who tries to have the last hurrah, isn't there? Yeah, not today, son. Well, in terms of a resource gathering trip, we definitely have not done too bad here, hey? I mean, we've got ourselves a lot of lapis, which is great, I would say. Pretty happy about that. And we've got plenty of coal and copper and iron, which is what we wanted to get at the end of the day. All right, so two iron ingots, which will be made in to nuggets, which will then be made into lanterns, and then we can finally get this thing done. There we are. One place there, 
one place there, and then we look at this thing from the outside, and oh man, it looks so much more homely, doesn't it? Once we, of course, get ourselves the crops on this side done, it will pretty much be finished. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so all that's left to do now is eat up our bread that we've gotten from the crops, and then we can end off today's episode with the comment of the day, which, yep, it's continuing, my friends. We're still doing the comment of the day. So, Crimson says, I like the new skin. Feels more personal than the Creeper skin, although it will take some getting used to. Interesting place to set up a base. Probably one of the most dangerous biomes. Will you be doing more redstone? Absolutely. I'd love to get more into redstone in this series. I mean, to be honest, we're going to be doing a bit of anything and everything in this series. I mean, that's what a survival let's play really is, isn't it? You kind of do anything and everything that your heart desires. That's the whole point of Minecraft. Do anything and everything your heart desires, you know? One episode we could be building, another episode could be caving, another episode could be technical farms, and another one could be redstoning. You never know what might be coming up. So yeah, we will definitely see about getting some more redstone projects going on inside of our world. So yeah, for now though, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. A bit of an all-rounder episode, actually. Bit of caving, bit of building, bit of everything. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed Please do be sure to drop a like if you have. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future Minecraft content. And that'll just about wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.